only one more here. One more. So on this side, you're carrying with your right hand, and on this side, you're going to be carrying with your left hand. So if you're, yeah, and if you're on this front, you need to be strong and the heaviest part. So if you have to, there we go. Okay, so we need one more fellow right here. One of you's got to come over here. We need one more. Are you on two? I don't bite, I promise. Thank you on behalf of the family for all of you that have uh, taken the time to come to the, the cemetery here and to see the last uh, remains here of where Lassi bodily remains will, will be buried. Uh, but we know the soul, the, the life is not there and, uh, and thus we have hope. Um, at this time, before uh, I say a few words, I've just been requested by Habishi, um, who is going to come and say something uh, on behalf of, uh, I, I didn't mention it because I did not know them, um, e, e, e Meno and, uh, e, and Bas Basande, and, uh, and Meno, who are brothers of, uh, of, uh, of Lassi. And they have come here from abroad, from Switzerland and, and from Toronto, and uh, so, just wanted to honor you, uh, gentlemen, and thank you for coming to to honor your brother. So we have one more brother, I believe, in Australia. And, uh, so uh, we, uh, but uh, Habishi is a nephew. And he will come and say a few words. On behalf of my family, I would like to begin by thanking everyone that is here today for those who have sent their condolences. 
We have received countless phone calls, thoughts, and prayers that have been both comforting during this difficult time. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Abishan Manoharan and I am his nephew. Every time Vasi Uncle visits me, he always mentions that I should come over and visit him, how Vancouver is a beautiful place. He also mentions how Switzerland is also a beautiful place. He also loves to sightsee when he's in Toronto as he always starts his day off by going to the balcony and steer, staring at the view of the CN Tower while enjoying his coffee in the morning. Regardless of how many times he visits, he always goes for a walk and enjoys the place as he, he has seen it for the first time. He also buys me pizza for two for one every time he visits me when he visits his friend. He also had a good relationship with my grandfather as he was always impressed how fast my grandfather can tape his, on his computer. We would also go to Hamilton to visit my aunt as well, sometimes stay overnight. It was just like yesterday when I go to sleep, I can hear my father having conversation with him for countless hours. It is a tragic moment that still is hard for me to process that he's actually gone. Even though you are no longer with us physically, you will always be in our hearts forever. Thank you. Um, I just want to share one scripture and uh, very briefly with you as we, uh, as we say goodbye. Uh, psalm 23 is a beautiful psalm and it's often read, right? at uh, these occasions and it says the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters he restores my soul he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake it, as we read this we see how the psalmist David he, he had an understanding of, of nature. Uh, he had a, an understanding of poetry, music. He, he was really a remarkable individual. But we see David, how he says, the Lord is my shepherd. Shekila and Tusha and Tanushan and Shobia and the rest of the family, friends, we can say the Lord is my shepherd when we know him in an intimate personal way that's what David could say and he says then he says in, 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 in verse 4 he says even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me and your rod and your staff they comfort me there's some interesting things that he says here uh, the reason why he said still waters, first of all, in the first part, was because uh, a sheep, sheep cannot go near a rushing, a rushing uh, river. The reason being is that if they fall over, they cannot get up. But when a sheep is led to still waters, they don't have the danger of falling over. That's how God is. And he takes care of us and he loves us. It's beautiful and then it says there even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death Shakila, you're in the valley you're in the valley of the shadow of death it's so recent so fresh but you know what the great part about a valley is as you walk through the valley you will climb up the other side to the mountaintop and that's where God always meets us in the valley and he guides us to the mountaintop and he will guide you and he says there there's a promise he says you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows and here's the promise of God surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And so we pray that blessing upon you, Shakila, with your, with your children, with the rest of your family, and friends, and the church uh, the, that, that, that is uh, so close to you, the Pastor Luke and uh, the other brothers and sisters, and that will surround you with comfort. And you know that, of course, we will be doing that as well. And so may the Lord bless you and keep you.
and may his face shine upon you and may he give you peace during this time. At this moment, I'd like to call on my uh, friend and your friend, uh, dear brother Jonathan. He's going to say a closing prayer and then after I will give some instructions with regard to uh, the end here. Jonathan. So we pray. Our gracious God and eternal Heavenly Father, we just bow before you now once again in the precious and worthy name of your beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Father, you are the silent witness to today. As we've come on this beautiful sunny day, we see the power of your glory and creation. And Father, we've come with the Pushparaj family to mourn with them, Father, as we, we lay to rest husband, father, brother, the man they loved so much, Vasi. Father, we were reminded today as we've gathered about the brevity of life. Father, we know what the scripture says. We heard a clear testimony. Neither is there salvation in the other, for there is no other name under heaven given amongst men. There's how to be saved, but that is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you for the message of hope. We heard of the testimony from Pastor Prakash and others on the family and how Vasi put his trust in the Lord, Lord and Father, we pray for the family as the days ahead. As we look around and we were reminded as our brother Dave shared so at the, at the service, today is the first day of the rest of your life and Lord, the question is gonna be asked, what do we do? We know life is so brief. We pray that we would take every moment and not take it for granted. We pray a special hedge of protection around Shaquilla, Tushan, Tanusan, and Shobian in the days ahead. Father, as our brother mentioned in the valleys, Lord, they know you as Lord and Savior. Father, that they know that they're not alone. And we pray, Father, that your presence would give them peace. Father, there's a story in Scripture, and we pray that everyone hears. Lord, after a heart saying, many walked away. And Lord, the Lord turned to the disciples and said, will you also leave? Father, we, we heard the message, and there's hope found in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we think of the question, what will you do? And we think of those beautiful words from Peter. It says, to Lord, whom shall we turn? You have the words of eternal life. And we have come to know that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. There's power in the name of Jesus. Father, I just pray for this family. We thank you again for everyone here. We thank you for the brothers that traveled a great distance to be here. We pray for the families. And as the days go ahead, Lord, we pray that we would just continue to draw strength from you. We were reminded from the scripture, absent from the body, present with the Lord. And so, Father, although Vassie's body, physical body, is going to be put to, to rest, we know he's not here. Father, and we just pray for everyone that has witnessed this. This is a testimony. We pray that we would be faithful to lift up the family in prayers in the days ahead. And that as we live our life, Father, we would take hold of what really is important. Like I said... Scripture says we're lucky maybe 70, maybe 80 years, then what? Eternity is forever. Thank you for loving us and sending your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we now commit the family. In his name we pray. Amen. As you have seen, uh, the funeral director here has taken some uh, roses and uh, she will give them to you. And then uh, you can file past the casket. You can put your rose here if you wish. On, on the casket and then um, uh, the way the city of Surrey works it's very difficult uh, uh, to uh, do all the procedure of lowering and so uh, if you if, if and, and that's a choice that any family member or friend can make you'd have to step away while they do the the, the final work but uh, the, the laws of the city of Surrey don't allow you to uh, be close by, uh, so it's it's uh, it's difficult. We know as this is uh, this is something that's important, but also we need to be respectful of the laws of the land. So um, they will uh, leave this here, and you can stay. And then, as you step away, then they will stop. So you can you can go ahead and. Uh, uh, the roses are going to be are, are, are going to be handed out.